So he's kind of checking out with all of these little things that I might go to the saddle. Now the first time I saddle one, I kind of have a little system of how I do it. I'm going to take this pad and just kind of start rubbing him methodically with this pad, making sure you can handle this. Now I don't want to be harsh and abrupt, but I don't want to sneak around him either. And there's a fine line and difference between the two. A lot of people treat these colts kind of like they're walking across a, a rickety board with lava underneath them and they just try to sneak by and spot the situation. But you kind of need to get in there and let them handle a little bit of that stuff. Now if he goes to move you to speak right there, that's fine. I'm not going to stop that. I'm not going to force him to stop. I'm just going to stay with him right there. He's going to learn that the easiest thing for him to do is just keep his feet still. So I'm not going to make him stand still, but I am going to try to change his thinking where he learns that standing still is about the easiest thing for him. Because at the end of the day, all these horses want to be is comfortable. Well, that's checking out pretty good. So then I might go to my saddle. Now with me, it's just easiest for me to saddle my horses from the right hand side because then I don't have to worry about getting on my cinches up and over. Um, you know, most people they saddle from the left, but that's about the only reason I saddle from the right is because it's easier for me. And then I'm also on this correct side to let these cinches down and that kind of takes away a step of having to walk around to set those cinches down. But when I set this saddle up on this horse, I want to kind of think about doing it like you might put your hat on your head just real smooth. Where nothing scares him. So I just keep everything real organized here. So if he goes to walk off, I can just go ahead and disengage him. Down, just rub my hand and arm down the belly. Grab that cinch. Now, the first couple of times I saddle a horse, it's probably just about the tightest I'm ever going to have that cinch. Because there's really nothing worse than what can happen is if your cinch is too loose and that colt runs the bucket around there and that saddle ends up underneath their belly. And so, those first couple of saddlings. I'm going to have that horse thing set pretty good. And that's the lesser of the two equals right there. I want to make sure that this is on. And then we take that saddle, move it back and forth a little bit, let us feel that. Now this colt, he's been saddled a few times, and so he's kind of been through this deal, and this is probably a little bit more than I would do with him for where he's at right now, but this just kind of gives you a glimpse as to how I might go about saddling the horse the first time. Move that saddle around. Let, it, let them feel it back and forth. Move the entire cordon around again. Going back to the importance of being able to send these horses off. For the first time you do this with that saddle on, whatever they do with that energy, you want them to be doing it out there. You don't want them to be doing it on top of you. I try to just kind of float around here with them. Make sure my feet keep moving here. Disengage him. And walk the other way. Engage the 